Welcome to my vlog. This is a bi-weekly-ish vlog about how I have uh, uprooted my life in America to come to Thailand. I grew up not knowing much about Thailand, so I'm here to learn Thai uh, for a year as well as learn about Thai culture and Thai history. So I hope you'll stick around. Please like and subscribe and uh, on to the episode. Okay, so where we last left off, it was a little over a week until my big flight to Thailand and I was getting rid of all my stuff. Turns out getting rid of stuff uh, ended up being one of the easier things to do along with uh, canceling internet, uh, gas, uh, cleaning my apartment uh, to get my security deposit back, uh, saying goodbye to all my um, friends in LA, had one lovely uh, weekend uh, out with everyone, which was lovely. Uh, the one thing that was stressing me out the most was my cat's paperwork. It had a very short timeline to do a lot of steps and it just wasn't working out uh, in that timeline. It was a 10 day window and it just wasn't working out with all the different agencies and people involved. Um, and I was really worried I was going to have to uh, change my flight, uh, extend my uh, apartment rent, um, and, and pay more money and do another vet checkup and all this stuff. I'm not gonna say too much on video, but I'll just say that there was a lot of paperwork and processes on all the websites for you to fill out if you're trying to bring your uh, cat, dog, whatever, pet uh, from America to another country. And I will say that no one checked it out. No one cared. Uh, I had a lot of the paperwork and some um, I did not have and no one cared at all. Uh, I was v stressed out I guess for no reason but I was really just trying to check all the boxes and do all the um, right procedures uh, but they ended up letting my cat on the plane and letting my cat into Thailand so I'm uh, really glad that that all worked out because I would have been I don't know what I would have done without my cats um, and if something were to go wrong in that process. Um, Okay, so the other uh, big question that a lot of my friends have been asking is how well did my cats travel uh, from uh, LA to Vancouver, Vancouver to Bangkok, and then Bangkok to um, the town that I'm eventually uh, will am, am living in. And one to 10, 10 being they are expert world travelers, they are probably a four. Could have been worse, could have been a whole lot better. Um, they were meowing most of the time. Uh, we had, I, we had so much sedatives and we would give it to them and it would last, at first it was lasting four hours, then it was lasting three hours. And then we, and then by the end of it, we had to give it to them every two hours. And then, um, I was running out of sedatives. So that was fun. Uh, surprisingly enough, uh, people around us on the plane were very curious about the cats and some of them clearly were cat lovers and were fascinated. Uh, even at um, our layover, I ended up meeting uh, people traveling with two other cats. Uh, they were going to um, Beijing through uh, Vancouver to Shanghai. So that was really cool uh, so that I wasn't alone and there's a pet relief area and I was able to let the cats um, walk around a little bit. Uh, it mostly involved taking the cats to the bathroom so they can stretch and then checking if they peed and pooped and they sure did pee and poop in their carrier so that was not fun but luckily we brought enough pet pads or pee pads um so we were able to replace those easily like i said my cats definitely meowed a lot On the plane, I would take them to the bathroom and let them stretch their legs a little bit. Uh, and then eventually the flight attendant was very nice enough to say, you know, you can let your cat out and just like keep it on your lap and around you and make sure it doesn't go in the aisle or bother other people. Um, so that was really nice because uh, it was, that was on the longest stretch, like a 17 hour uh, flight. So it was nice to let them out and that seemed to calm them down. They didn't meow as much. They did try to run into the aisle or jump into the aisle um, every so often, but uh, we would just um, keep the their harness really tight and leash very tight. Uh, so that worked out. Uh, after the plane ride, we still had a four hour drive uh, to the town that I'm living in. 
Uh, and luckily we were able to let the cats out of the carrier in the car and uh, again, tight leash. Um, so they couldn't go you know, under seats or anything, but they were, that, well, they were pretty content about that. So that was good. Anyways, uh, me and the cats made it to Thailand. I would not ever recommend bringing a pet abroad unless you absolutely had to. Yeah, it just wasn't fun and I don't recommend it. And it was very stressful. And even if the paperwork all happened very smoothly, which for me did not, but even if the paperwork was all smooth, you still have a pet that is crying usually um, for a very, very, very long flight. And if they're not crying, you're constantly re-injecting them or re dosing them with sedatives um, or you just have a chill pet and that's cool i'm very jealous if you have a chill pet you know do what you do this is my um, experience uh, moving these two cats that i have from america to thailand anyways uh that is the end of this short update video um i will be doing another video soon i had this uh, very recent uh, event that happened to my family um that was mostly my fault. I'm going to share a little bit about that video, uh, about that, um, in another video. Uh, it's just part of adjusting to Thailand because Thailand is not America and I, um, am quickly learning the, uh, I don't know how to say it. I am still processing it. So next video will be about that, um, event and, and, and what we've done at, since then and, and how I, um, in the uh, feeling about all of the stuff that happened that again was mostly um, my, my fault. So as a, honestly a dumb American. So stay tuned, uh, please like and subscribe to my channel if you wanna get notifications uh, about that coming video and then other future videos. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.